Welcome to the next part of the module on Android Services and Security, which covers the Android Intent Service. In this part, we'll explain how the Android Intent Service provides a framework for programming started services that can currently process commands expressed as intents, as described at this link. We'll start by summarizing how the Android Intent Service codifies a common idiom for concurrent event processing. Although we present this idiom in the context of the download service implementation discussed in the previous video, it's actually used throughout Android. This idiom involves two classes and several methods. The first step in the idiom involves overriding the onCreate hook method defined by a service, which creates and starts a handler thread that processes intent commands in the background and then gives the handler thread's looper to an instance of a service handler so it will handle messages in a background thread. The second step in this idiom involves overriding the onStart command hook method to create a message that encapsulates the intent parameter and the ID of the start request and passes the message to the service handler by calling it sendMessage method. The third step in the idiom involves overriding the handleMessageHook method in the service handler subclass to process the message containing the intent which in this case involves downloading the image, storing it in a local file on the device, and returning the path name to the activity so it can be displayed to the user. After the processing is finished, the service shuts itself down via a call to stop self. This idiom appears in a number of Android packaged applications, including the calendar and MMS SMS applications, as shown at these path names. Now that we've analyzed Android's idiom for concurrent processing of intents, we'll show how this idiom is codified by the Android Intent Service, which is a subclass of service that provides a started service framework for concurrently processing asynchronous commands expressed as intents, as shown here. The Intent Service framework is easy to use, since subclasses simply override its on-handle intent hook method and provide the logic for processing an intent in a single background thread. The typical use case for the intent service is also straightforward, as we'll show using a variant of the download service covered in the previous video. In the download application example, a client sends intents via calls to the start service method. Data and even objects can be passed to the intent service by putting extras into the intents, which is used throughout Android to exchange information between activities or between an activity and a service, as shown here. The intent service is started on demand via the activator pattern, which efficiently and transparently launches services on demand, as shown here. Subclasses of the intent service implement the onHandle intent hook method to process the intent sent by the client concurrently in a background thread by automatically performing the steps outlined here. For example, the onHandle intent hook method for the download service simply calls download image and reply to concurrently retrieve the requested image, store it in a file on the device, and pass the path name back to the download activity that originally called Start Service. The Intent Service implementation applies the idiom described earlier in this video, as shown by the code at this path name. In particular, its onCreate hook method creates a service handler which internally spawns a single background handler thread. Its onStart command hook method calls the service handler's sendMessage method to enqueue each intent received from clients into the message queue managed by the handler thread running in the background. The service handler's handle message hook method then receives the message containing the intent in the handler thread and dispatches the overridden onHandle intent hook method to process the intent thereby ensuring that long-duration processing doesn't block the user interface thread, though only a single intent is processed at a time by the one and only background thread. Finally, the intent service stops itself automatically when there are no more intents to process. In contrast, a regular service must stop itself manually by calling the stop self method in application code. Now that we've summarized the structure and functionality of the Intent Service Framework, we'll analyze its implementation, 
based on the code at this path name. The intent service class extends the service super class and overrides several hook methods to process asynchronous requests expressed as intent commands on demand. The intent service class also defines looper and service handler objects as volatile data members to ensure that they're visible to the background handler thread. When a client calls the start service method, the Android service framework launches the intent service and invokes its onCreate hook method, which creates and then starts a thread to process the intent concurrently in the background using the handler thread class covered here. OnCreate then passes the handler thread's looper to the constructor of service handler, so its handle message hook method will be dispatched in the context of that thread. Each time an intent is sent to the intent service via the start service method, the Android service framework invokes its onStart command hook method, which in turn invokes the onStart helper method that forwards the intent to the service handler by creating a message containing the intent and the start ID to guide subsequent processing and shutdown behavior. Finally, onStart calls the service handler's send message method to pass the intent and start ID to the background handler thread using the hammer framework. Since service handler extends handler, its handle message hook method runs in the context of the handler thread and receives messages passed to it via send message. Handle message dispatches the onHandle intent hook method, which must be overridden by subclasses of intent service to process the intent concurrently. Only one intent is processed at a time, but the processing happens in the handler thread that runs concurrently with respect to other application logic. Therefore, if this hook method runs for a long time, it will hold up other requests to the same intent service, but will not hold up anything else. When onHandle intent returns, the stop self method is automatically called to stop the intent service using the shutdown idiom presented in the previous video. After the intent service stops itself, Android service framework invokes its on destroy hook method, which quits the looper and thus shuts down the handler thread. In summary, the Android Intent Service provides a framework that codifies a common Android idiom. It creates a handler thread that processes intent commands in the background. Likewise, it uses the Hammer framework to dispatch calls to the onHandle Intent hook method, which performs application-defined processing of the intent parameter passed to this method. The Intent Service is designed for started services that only need to process a single intent request at a time in a background thread. If additional concurrency is needed, then other solutions are available, as we'll discuss later. The intent service is a classic application of the command processor pattern, which packages a piece of application functionality, as well as its parameterization in an object, to execute it in another context, which in this case is a different process or a different thread, as covered in upcoming videos. If you compare the Android implementation of the intent service with a download service implementation in the previous videos, or with the open source Android calendar and MMS SMS applications, you'll get a sense of deja vu, since they're very similar, which shows how frameworks often evolve organically by refactoring common idioms and patterns into reusable software components. The intent service itself is also used heavily in Android's packaged applications, as shown here. Additional information on the Android intent service appears at this link.